Welcome to another episode of A Bang For Your Buck and today we are at Hot Addiction located at Sun Plaza right outside Sambawang MRT as recommended by our special guest here, Jason! Hi. Why do you recommend me this hot pot place? <laughs> Actually, Why? to be honest, right, I, I don't eat hot pot uh, a lot of times in my whole entire life. La. Your and girlfriend never asked me hot pot man? Not much, la. my girlfriend it's not the kind that like to eat hot pot also. Oh, so yeah, I eat steamboat, Chinese New Year. La. How, how do you know about this place? You know who told me? Google. La. Google. La. <laughs> he bring me to a place that he Google. It better be good, man. I see the rating that I recommend on it. <laughs> so Papa, for you, right? What is most important? I think it's the soup. La. The soup. Second? You, you're testing me. Yeah. No, I'm never testing you. This one is your, your honest oh, opinion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sauce, no sauce. Yeah. Ah, okay, so, sauces. The freshness of the ingredients. Yeah, for me, right, in, in terms of hot pot, I got one long list. That I can go on and on and on and on. But, right, the top few for me personally, right, number one, right, the soup. Secondly, is the variety of meat and also the comfort at the, the restaurant. I'm very excited to try, but Jason, usually what do you order? Belly, uh, uh, cheese tofu, fish ball, meat ball, and that only. So, so, for me, right, when I eat hot pot, I usually order a lot of different kind of meat. Lah. This baby squid over here that I like to dip it in mala. And then uh, of course all the processed things. Over here, right, since Jason, right, the sauce is most important to you. Yeah. We've got three different kinds of sauce. Yeah. They only have three options for you to choose from. Like, you cannot do it yourself because now it's COVID, yeah. right? They will make for you and they will bring over for you. What pop addition is special for, right? In their hot pot is actually the mala flavor. So let's Try out their soup first since we say soup is one of the most important ones. We have scooped a little bit of the purple chicken soup. Just for like her chow, thank you. I think at first the, the purple taste is quite strong but then it ends off ends off with like a little bit of sweetness lah. So for people who like herbal, right? Actually this is very very tart. For me I like to drink herbal and if, if this is called herbal soup right and I come here I will say that it's not really herbal la. Mala. The mala. Hey, the really ma like, really like. When you talk about mala right, the most important thing is the fragrance, mm. the numbness and the spiciness, right? This is their specialty. But then right, I, I really don't recommend uh, people to, to drink it like this. La. You know why? It's not very good for your 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 digestive system. I can't really take spice but okay. I'm gonna use a spoon. Mmm Wow! Quite spicy, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I like to take spicy soup, la. but I enjoy it. But I, I, I would I like to you. say that it's quite spicy also. You can come here on a rainy day. Yeah, quite sure. Damn nice. Really, the flavors are there. Much better than the chicken. No wonder they are famous for this thing. The saltiness is just right also. After trying the soup, we're gonna try it with the pork belly first. Because here, right, it's more like a buffet, BBQ and hot pot place, right? Yeah. We, we don't expect the presentation to be fantastic. Right? The thickness of the meat, right, is, is quite uneven. Mm. One, one thing I want to ask you, Jason. Yeah. Do you just dump all the meat in us? I know our friends, right, they just dump everything in the meat. I, know, one I, know, I, 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 I hate to do that. We'll just dip in the mala first. Alright. One, two, three, oh! I think the meat, right, it soaks up the mala oil pretty well. So when you eat like that, you... Quite, uh, the oil will like, ease up. The meat oil? No la, the mala oil la. Oh. Now we're gonna try it with the sauce. Usually we dip la, but because of COVID now right, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to oh, drizzle over. Cheers Jason. Cheers. Mm. Wow. You all it's, eat the pork belly mix this one uh, wow. wow, it's surprising eh. It's even better than the mala. And mala is their specialty. I think the sauce is their specialty. The next flavor we're gonna try is this sesame, garlic, and scallions, the tong, ah, and also coriander sauce. Cheers! Cheers. I don't like the sauce. I don't think it suits the meat. Ah. The sauce, right, is just like you taste garlic and chili in your mouth. Got normal flavor, it's very bland. So, what I'm gonna try now is their sesame sauce. Oh. Nah. <laughs> Mm, the sauce not bad. Yeah, but, uh, a bit of sweetness. But salty also. The salty one is the fermented beancurd. Oh. The one you buy from NTUC. I know, the town chio, that kind. Yeah, it got fermented bean eh, and got crushed peanut and vinegar all this. We can move on. That's what I mentioned to you, right? The thing that I, I always eat what is baby squid in the mala. When we look at seafood, right, in 
in hot pot uh, I'll be looking at the freshness of the seafood uh, huh? While you are cooking your seafood like sweet this time uh, Some people will think like when is it cooked? How long is it cooked? Actually they cook very fast one uh, When the sotong uh, or the squid a bit cute uh, Like become smaller in size uh, Then it should be more or less done Okay, cheers Nice. Mm. Freshness, maybe not as fresh. There's this seafood taste that you taste in your mouth and it lingers in your mouth. Then just now, right, when I was like ordering, I, I, I found this beef tripe and the beef stomach. You'll eat one. Usually, people eat this uh, in mala. What makes a good tripe is that they cook, you put in your mouth, uh, it's not smelly one. It's nice. Try one piece. Hey. This one, uh, actually, you already cooked one. So you just need to let it in a while and count to Oh my beef try Oh no, I don't put it in Nothing, bigger piece uh, Oh humpty, uh, just take the whole big piece la. That one is different, that one's the, the other part So the tripe is the one I got the, got the, the heavy heavy one mm. I think mine is too small, I can only taste the more uh, yeah, actually, can you explain to me how come like uh, this ili ili on it? It looks very scary to me. The ili ili is the, the stomach inside, uh, the absorb the food that you eat one. I don't know why, why you ask me such questions? Now, right, we're gonna try the one uh, without the hair one. I'm really so soft one. What? Right, nice. One thing good about the pieces that I've eaten, but this one has no smell, it's like. They can clean it properly, like clean it properly. How was your overall experience here trying the food and the, the soup base and everything? Three things, la, okay. The mala soup, the pork belly. Okay, but pork belly don't eat without dipping to this sauce. The, the, the tasty sauce. The highlight, the highlight. So for me, actually, the highlight highlight is actually the mala soup. La. It's really, really very good. One thing I like about this place is that, right, your friend want to eat hot pot, but you want to eat barbecue. So this is like a two-in-one place that you can eat both at the same time. So how satisfied are, are you out oh, five stars? Three, two, one, three stars! I'll give four. Like. Wow. Maybe I, I don't eat hot pot that much. Like. Whenever I go eat hot pot, it's like, wow. I come here, my, my, my Okay. The reason why I gave 3 stars is because right, I, I really like to eat meat and I like to eat like those quality kind of meat But unfortunately here right, they don't have much uh, variety of meat options that I can choose from like. That's why 3 stars, but I really think that it's really quite affordable like. Hopper hot pot is like about $15, $19, $17 for yeah. adult and, and lunch deal like, right, lunch deal So remember that we always say that you want to save money yeah come during lunch time and then they were asking oh do we want to try the barbecue as well you just have to top up 12 dollars not per packs are 12 dollars per table it's very well made. now we are here at Hai Di Lao my favorite place and the place that I recommended Jason to do you feel like you're dating me now we're on a date eating from home I, I am I'm free we have ordered the same dishes that we ate at Hot Addiction and also at the same time right, I add in a few more items that I feel like is a must order. First things first, when, when I come to Hai Di Lao, right, there's definitely one thing that, that I'll always go and take is the Xiao Cai. La. They have this new Xiao Cai, I, I, don't, I haven't seen it before. This one is the, the mushroom in chili oil. So you like to eat Chueh Wei, right? What? It's something like Chueh Wei, but not as spicy as Chueh Wei. The mushroom is good, yeah. You like? Yeah. I feel like their xiao cai they will change as and when on. Oh really? Mm. Yeah, one more piece. Uh, sorry, Coffee uh, thing la, uh, wala. Uh, <laughs> the first things first, we are going to try the soup. Right, so we have ordered the chicken soup. Over here, they don't have herbal chicken. So it's just a normal chicken soup. And also the mala one for a fair comparison. So now we are going to give the chicken one a, a try. La. One thing I really like about Hai Ki Lao chicken soup is that you can really taste that they use real ingredients to go and cook this soup. For the mala soup, right? Would you want to try it now? Yeah, I wait for very long already. I think on first look, right, like the mala tongue compared to just now, they are right. You can tell that it's less oily. Can I just say it's like significantly smoother than what we had in Port uh, Addiction? Uh. No oil, uh. it's like pure soup with mala. You know, this mala here, right, has even more kick. It's like Boom! Right, right. Wow. Yeah. Having tried both the hot edition one and here, right? 
I will feel that if you want to drink it as a soup, hot edition one actually feels better when you drink it as a soup. Or do you like this better? I think I prefer this one. Eh? <laughs> I think the soup here is more ma versus what I had. Ah yes, yes, yes. Over here is more ma and, and I, more la. I like it la, because it's like more fragrant mm. and then more like smooth and fresh. Yes, yes. Like, because I don't really like spice, so maybe that is the reason why I prefer the one at hot edition instead. The stark difference from at hot edition is the the sauces, right? They have five to six variety of sauces. Fair comparison, right? We have got three sauces that Pork Edition has. We have got the spicy sauce that is similar to tasty meat sauce at the Pork Edition, and then we have got the sesame sauce and the peanut. Don't know what sauce, but I've got friends who really like the sesame sauce. All right, so now we're gonna try the food. So the first thing that we're gonna try, like at Hot Pot Edition, we're gonna try the pork belly. The presentation. Yeah. You get what you pay for. One thing you, I want to bring your attention to is it's a very balanced piece of meat and fat ratio, like I would say. Okay, done. I'm ready. Now? Okay, yeah. cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Right? Mm. Much more softer, I feel. Over at the other place, you can really feel like, oh, I'm eating the meat now. That's more rough. And then, oh, I'm eating the fats now. It's, it's like very soft. But here, even the meat is also very tender. Here we have the pork cooked in the chicken broth. And now, right, we're gonna try it in the special sauce, which is this one. The one that is the tasty sauce at Pot Edition. Mm. You know what comes across that's very strong? Vinegar. So this sauce. Not for me. The, the vinegar taste comes across very strongly for me. Like, and personally, I'm not a fan of vinegar. I think it's nice, but uh, I would say just now that the one you bought edition like, gave me a more like wow flavor. Let's go with the uh, sesame oil, garlic. One tip about this sauce, right? It has so much oil. I wouldn't recommend you to dip your meat in. If not, it's just gonna be a oily piece of meat. Mm. Surprisingly, I don't like this sauce. Eh. It's like a little bit sweet. Then the garlic, unique taste. Yeah. Last piece, right? We're gonna try with us the peanut sesame sauce. I hope it's good. Cheers. <laughs> you know they got the taste of the, you know the Chinese the red fermented sauce, the fermented bean, the red color one. Yeah. This one they also have, ma. That one is This one is more. This one is another chong. I don't know what chong. <laughs> I don't like that sauce at all. Like for real. One thing I want to show you that is a uh, one of the must order lah when you eat mala at Haiti Lao is their baby squid. So now I'm gonna cook it in mala again. After you cook it in mala, I just need to dip it into this soy sauce or you call it the seafood sauce, and then you are good to go, man. You put in mala, right? The taste of lingers in your mouth, right? mm. Very very good. But if you order the sotong right, put in your mala soup. Best. It's a must order, you should order, right, with the mala. So Jason, how was your experience at Haiti Lao so far? Awesome man. I thought I couldn't eat already, but when I came here, I mean I, I got eaten Haiti Lao before, but sometimes you know when two things you place side by side, you know there's a comparison that you can, you can make. And you really can feel the difference. How many shoktas will you give Haiti Lao in 3, 2, 1, five star? What's that? <laughs> I had to show the extra hand, you know. <laughs> really, really, when you eat hot pot, right? Number one, the soup base, really good, and they have a lot, a lot of flavors for you to try from. Other than these two mala and chicken hot pot, right? They have got the two to tang also, which yeah, is the the one that I like. Those people who cannot take spicy, you might want to go for chicken and tomato soup base, and you mix it together, it's also very good. I think you eat out often, right? I always see your Instagram, I always eat out. How often do you splurge on, you know, such restaurants or, or cafes? Every week, uh, well, at least three or four times. Since you, you know, you, you splurge la, on food, right? I think you also try to make the best out of all the splurging that you do, right? Yeah. Do, you, do you have any, like, credit cards that you recommend or you personally use right to save some bucks or earn some points. Personally, I use uh, DBS Leaf Fresh. Uh. Alright. Uh, uh, but not credit card wise, uh, the debit okay. card, uh, the, the oh, okay. black color Visa one. Oh, uh, wow. Now I think I'll cashback also. 
and ah. you just have to use PayWave. Debit card is anybody also can have one, right? Yes. Ah, debit card anybody. I see. So those of you, right, who are still studying, this is something that you know you can look into, and then you can save some bucks also. And and one more thing that I want to share, like, right, at High Pilau, right, is that they have got this value set new one, and it's very worthy. I think it's fifteen eighty only. For meat and, and the that set la. And then the second tip at Hai Lao that you can save money, I think most people know right, is that if you are just dining in like you and your partner, you don't have to order the big pot. You know you can choose four flavors options. So what we did today was that right, we order one quarter of the chicken and one quarter of the mala pot. If you're gonna order half pot, half pot right, then you'll be looking at about 20 something dollars. If you put just one quarter, one quarter pot like this, we are looking at about 15 to 16 dollars. The thing is, the soup is free flow. You can indulge, but you have to indulge in the smart way. And how to learn the ways, right, is to follow our channel. Which one do you think is more of a bang for your buck? I would say it's high but because, uh, I mean, personally, I don't eat steamboat like, very mm. often. I think at most one month, one time. One month so if I go eat it, uh, I might as well make the best out of it. For me, definitely Hai Di Lao. Number one, again, the soup base. Number two, the freshness of the seafood. I'm someone who likes the, the quality of food. Lah. You know, I'm okay to pay more for quality of the food. And my version of Bank for the Buck is like really, you pay what you get for and then you are happy eating it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode for a Bank of the Buck. A Bank? <laughs> For our audience out there, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of A Bang For Your Buck. Do like, follow us, share to your friends so that you get more smart ways to save and share your food with your friends, right? While eating out and eating good food. And we'll see you at the next episode. Bye-bye.